A Manatee County group that saves dogs and cats from being euthanized is claiming Manatee County Animal Services picked up a dog before Christmas but failed to render proper care after discovering its injuries. SNN's Suzanne Lee has the story. Suzanne? Yes, the group is called Forget Me Not, and they work in conjunction with the Manatee County Animal Shelter to take the dogs and cats off the shelter's hands that come in too sick or ill for animal services to manage before they're actually euthanized. Now, the group is often referred to as a no-kill group, and I met with some of its members today who are very upset over a dog that is now in their care after being picked up from Manatee County Animal Services. No one disputes Amari the dog has been through the ringer. He was a stray we picked up in a field. The officer uh, managed to uh, capture him and noticed right away that he was in distress and took him straight to the vet. It's what happened to Amari, or didn't happen, between December 15th and December 23rd after she was picked up by the Manatee County Animal Services that has members of Forget Me Not, a no-kill group that assists the shelter with sick and injured dogs, really upset. What, what I seen when I received her, very poor care, very, very poor care. I mean, you don't put a dog on cement floor. Um, I know they have beds over there for the dogs. I mean, you don't put the dog in a concrete floor in a cold shelter when you when you know that the dog has been shot through the leg. I mean, she couldn't move. She was, I mean, we had to actually pick her up and put her in my car to transport her. Whaley says the documents confirm Amari did not receive proper care during her nine-day stay, and the group says they also weren't called to pick her up for another eight days. Interim Director for Manatee County Animal Services Bill Hutchison sent an email to two county commission members that reads in part, Mia culpa, they got us on this one and he admits mistakes were made. I'm trying to recreate what happened after that. The dog did languish here for about eight days. It didn't get the kind of care that it should have gotten. I don't, for us it was a perfect storm. It was during the holidays, we were short staffed. Two of our supervisors were on vacation. Whaley wishes there was better communication with Manatee Animal Services. They, they, don't, they don't reach out to us more, you know, and, and for our help. And then when we do help, then we're called crazy. She's referring to an email that was sent from Hutchinson to Manatee County Commissioners explaining the snafu, where he refers to the group as crazies. I'm a crazy too. I'm a crazy animal person or I wouldn't be doing this. So if uh, someone took offense to that, Sorry, poor choice of words. In the end, uh, if you wanted to uh, ask who is responsible for it, you can, you're talking to him, it's me. But you know, take the moment to make that phone call or text us you know, and say, we need help here. That's all we ask for. Forget Me Not says Amari won't be ready for adoption for several months due to illness as well as her wound, but they will keep caring for her. Now, Interim Director Bill Hutchinson says he's not making excuses for what happened to Amari. He says he intends to find out more details. He adds the shelter is in a tough spot with overcrowded conditions and not enough staff at the present time. Uh, overcrowded? How many animals do they have right now at the shelter? Hutchison says they actually have room for 60 animals, but they have almost 100. He also acknowledged that the staff person who would have been responsible for calling Forget Me Not to pick up Amari is actually on administrative leave and under investigation for an unknown issue.